Hey, listen, man. Hey, Immortal Soul 111. It's your boy Keith, and I'm back with another video. Um, my last video, bro, got copyrighted strike, bro. Um, you know, as y'all know, I did a reaction. I don't even know if y'all even got a post notification, but I had did a reaction to in the lead chop from Bryson, bro. Um, you know, it is what it is, bro. I kind of figured that they was gonna copyright my shit, but but you know, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care, my nigga. I don't do this shit for the money. I don't do this shit for none of that shit, man. I do. I do this shit to motivate y'all, inspire y'all, and spread awareness, man. Like, really just share my knowledge, man. Share what I know and really just try to um, teach. So, uh, yeah, man. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to break, you know, your weed addiction. And do this, bro. Let me tell y'all what y'all do, bro. Y'all going to It's going to come a point in time in your life, man. You're going to have to stop smoking weed. For whatever you're doing, you have to stop popping pills. You gonna have to stop running, running to shit, to escape your pain, bro. Cause because if you really look at it, man, that's the reason why y'all even do this shit. Y'all do this shit because y'all trying to escape y'all reality. You trying to escape your pain. You trying to escape whatever you was going through in the moment, or whatever phase you at in your life. You trying to escape that shit, bro. And you run into you run into drinking. You drew you run into smoking weed. You have to have a blunt in your hand. Guys, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Y'all have to leave this shit alone, bro. Because the more that you are feeding to your feeding into your addiction, the more it's gonna be it's gonna be way more harder to stop doing whatever you're doing. That even goes for porn too. If you watching, if you masturbating, bro. If you're, if I don't give a fuck if you male, female, if you are playing with yourself watching porn. That's an addiction, bro. You're weird, bro. You're weird, and it's fucked up, and it's sick. You need help. What well, uh when Michael Jordan say on that ad where he's like, get some help. Stop it. <laughs> but uh yeah, man. But like all jokes aside, bro, really man. What I would tell y'all, I, I never had a problem with weed. I was never really a, a weed smoker, man. I have tried weed, obviously. Pretty sure everybody have, man. That's the only way you know, you know, if you like it or not. But most people can't get off this shit. Most people get hooked. Most people, they do this shit every day. They have to have a blunt. They need to smoke weed to have fun. They need that shit, bro. They can't just sit at home and just be alone with themselves. They have to have somebody around them or they have to have um, that blunt. They have to have a drink with them in their hand or something. So the thing I would say to do is um, fast. Go on a drop fast. Start fasting. Start fasting, and that means in all areas of your life, you need to fast from porn. You need to fast from that dopamine rush that you get, that feeling you get when you're doing something like when you're watching videos. You need to stop doing that all the goddamn day. You need to stop, you know, um, watching ass videos, watching twerking video, whatever you're doing that's getting you pumped up, that's making you addicted to watching it, or making you addicted to smoking it, drinking it. You have to stop doing it, bro. You need to just cut all this. You, you need to just separate yourself from anything that is not like really what I would do is what I would say to you is replace that with something positive. Replace that shit with something good. Like work out no matter whether you are, like I said, female or male, work out. My ladies, do some squats, work in your ass cheeks. You know, y'all don't have to go get ass shots and go get all these ass implants and look like Cardi B and all the rest of them. Um, anyways, my nigga, I ain't even gonna get into that. But what I'm saying is, man, replace that bad habit with something positive, something good. You know, wake up in the morning, affirm to affirm to yourself, me. Not, you know what I'm saying? I will not do this today. I will not pick up a blunt today. I will not drink today. I will not, you know, waste time for five hours and binge and watch Netflix all day. I will do something positive with my life. Affirm that shit. You have to really mean that shit, man. You got to want to change. You got to want to do what's best for you, man. Ain't nobody going to... See, look. See, look. What y'all do is anytime... Anytime y'all go through something, man, y'all always run to a doctor or y'all always run to somebody outside of y'all, man. And I know I'm trying to tell y'all what to do, man, but, you know, take what resonates with you and do what resonates with you. Yeah, like, like, apply that shit to your life, man. God has put everything we need, everything that 
We were sent to do on this earth. It is all within us. It's all in here, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. It's in here. It's in here. You have to come to an understanding, bro. Within means within. That shit is in you. It is you. You. You have the answers for your life. But some of y'all just cannot. Bro, y'all don't even trust y'all, so you have to start trusting yourself. Trust yourself, you know, um, have your own back. Being honest with yourself, you know, um, stop making excuses for yourself. Stop lying to yourself, man. Um, yeah, man, just really just go to the go to the root of it. You know, why am I doing this? Why am I why do I feel like I need something external? I need somebody advice. I need this, I need that. You know, just really do what works for you. You know, some of these things I just named might not work for you. It might not, you know, who knows? You have to just try, bro. You have to want to change, bro. A lot of y'all are so comfortable, so comfortable with y'all addictions. Some of y'all don't even realize y'all even have addictions. Y'all have a problem with this or that. Y'all have a problem with overeating. You know, um, y'all have a lot of addictions. Being on social media, always having a post, always feeling like you're left out. Bro, take away, bro, just step back. This is why, look, this is what I do. I meditate. I meditate. As soon as I meditate, bro, I'm in my thoughts, bro. You know, everything I didn't uh, fed my mind with, you know, I'm able to analyze that shit. And I'm able to be like, okay, you know, I need to stay away from this shit for a while. I need to stay away from this person a while. I need to take a break from this. You know, I need to just get this up for a minute and just really just focus on how I feel, man, because... Um, you know, um, y'all addiction are temporary feelings. It's temporary. You know, that's why it's an addiction because once that, once you become sober, once you, once you get that feeling where you just in your thoughts, man, you just overthinking, man, you know, you run back to that addiction. That's what you don't want to do. You want to do, I don't give a fuck what it is. You, if you got to read a book, go outside, walk in nature, I don't give a fuck what you got to do, bro. Go sit in your car. Play some music, you know, journal, whatever you got to do, man, to keep you focused, you know, keep you distracted from your addiction, man. You got to face that shit head on, bro. I got to stop putting it off and stop saying I'm going to quit weed, you know, ne next week or, you know, next month or next year. My New Year's resolution, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop being on social media. I'm going to go low. Do that shit now. Do that shit now and stop procrastinating. Stop bullshitting yourself, bro. And that's my best advice. That's the only thing I can say to you, man. I can't literally go into your life and tell you what to do. You know what's best for you, man. You know? Um, but yeah, man. That was it for the video, man. Um, but like I said, man, that was some... I don't give a fuck, bro. You know, they did copyright my video, but I know it's not chopper, bro. Because I, I really felt this vibe from the video. I really feel his vibe, bro. That, nigga, bro. that little nigga really is changing, bro. And you know it ain't even him, but it's the label. It's 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 whoever who, who got co who got copyrights to them videos. So you know it is what it is, bro. You know I'm doing me, man. As long as I keep posting, as long as I'm staying, you know, into my niche, man. Just keep posting these videos and bring you all these motivational videos, man. I'm cool with that, bro. It is what it is. We gonna grind together, man. Um, make sure y'all like, man, and y'all subscribe, man, so y'all miss my uh my advice, you know, and my motivational. Um, you know, turn on post notifications if you are new to, you know, if you are new to my channel, man, I appreciate all the love and support. And, you know, as, as always, Immortal Soul, one love, and I'm out.